What is up, everybody? It is Zach Tatko coming back at you again with another video. And today I'm going to be playing Mac Warrior 5, following up the video I did not too long ago. That video actually did relatively well, and I had a lot of dudes come in that were big Battletech Mac Warrior fans uh, of the series, and they came in, said they really liked my content, wanted to see some more Mac Warrior stuff, and they really support the message of getting it out there to show some people. So I got a special treat for you guys today. Uh, so I've been playing Mech 5 for a hot minute. Um, and so I decided to install yet another mech lab because I saw that in some of the comments people were saying clan invasion not the only clan whatever mod and I was like okay you have me you had me started at clan and so uh, I got the yet I, I went to uh, Baradul's uh, YouTube channel if you guys don't know him I'll link it down below Baradul awesome mech warrior youtuber one of the only uh, really popular ones there are um, so he uh, has his mod list on Steam in collections, and anybody can download it anytime for free. So I went there, downloaded that on top of a couple other mods that I have running for myself, and it is something that I'm going to check out. I did take away my Mech Warrior 2 Mercenary soundtrack mod for this one, so I'll be jamming out to my own tunes. But uh, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get into the video and play a new campaign the, that I started. It's a new career mode with the Advanced Career Start mod that's in there. And uh, we'll see what happens. We're, we're a level two unit right now. I just started it, did a little test. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Do a little bit of gameplay. So in the mech lab, I, I got a couple mechs. Uh, I'm a big fan of this one, obviously. Uh, fuck, what's the name? Oh, man, I'm, I'm, I'm dying right now. I'm dying. The VL5M. I'm trying to remember. Vindic uh, the Vulcan. There we go. Bottom left. Try to do that again. Okay, so in the mech lab, there's a lot for me to learn, obviously, because, uh, well, I'm looking at this Vulcan right now, and I, I highlight over, I see the engine core, structure endo, all this, and, like, I have been playing this game, vanilla, for a while, and when I go to details, I'm like, what the hell is all of this? This is yet another mech lab. Um, so there's a lot I've got to do when it comes to learning about sensors and targeting systems, all this. Now, what I am seeing is armor. When you put that in there, uh, if I, I think armor last I checked was somewhere down here, armor and structure. Um, I don't have any in my inventory as you see, but all you got to do is click on it, like right click here and it loads it into there. And this is your armor slots. So it's a weird unlocked mech lab, as it says in the description, um, similar to Mech Warrior Online, which I'm a huge fan of. Catch me on there if I'm ever playing. Um, you know, it's a lot for me to get used to, but it looks very interesting. At first, it was really intimidating because all this was was very new looking to me coming from vanilla Mech Warrior 5 and then Mech Warrior Online. And then I see the similarities, but then I see like the shoulder, upper arm, lower arm. It reminds me of like tabletop with all the specific critical hit locations and all that stuff I got into that too and I don't know it throws me back so anyway that being said you're gonna watch me hopefully I'll make a series out of this I am moving this month to another state so it might be slow um, but coming up here soon I'd like to do like a series of play of, of me playing mech warrior 5 with yet another mech lab and hopefully if you guys like it feel free to uh, watch the video like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, I'll keep doing it as long as you guys like it. But anyway, let's go ahead and find a contract and get into something we can play and uh, see if we have a good time. Okay, so perfect. Relatively low difficulty right here. We've got a quest, armed robbery, it's 15 difficulty. Uh, payout is 683,000. Mission type is assassination. So we're just gonna get in, get out pretty quick. Um, a Merc company has left its mech repair depot unmanned while they're prepared to leave the system. There is a minimal presence around the garage where a valuable components or possibly a mech under repair might be found. I will be taking that. Take out their head of security and the remaining outfit is bound to withdraw, which will give you the full run of the depot. Okay, so this is going to give us some good stuff. So I feel like this is going to be more of a salvage type mission. So we're going to do, we're going to pump two points, two points into salvage. I'll take that. So 18, that would give us like a light mech, I think. Will 
restrict visibility. Now we've got 15 tonnage left. Uh, so it looks like we don't have any extra tonnage to pull. I might be able to get a little bit more armored mech to come in here. Now we've got our wolfhound at 35. I maybe I can get the dervish. No, can't get the dervish in there. Um, what is... Do I have any penalties? I don't see any penalties. I'll, I'll play the rules. I'll do Vulcan. Good to go. So we got Vulcan. I believe that is a medium mech. Hunchback, medium. And then a rifleman uh, should be heavy mech. So we're going to bring that in there. See what we can do with what we've got. While it's loading in, I'll tell you guys. If anybody leaves a comment. Okay, Commander. Oh. The only thing standing between us and this company's okay. supplies is We're loading leader, in now. Anders Wilman. Take him out, and we'll be able to get our salvage crew's planet side. Wilman's forces have mostly fled the area, but you should still expect some resistance. Target neutralized. Okay, so just here to assassinate a dude. Already got some salvage, so that is good. Let's take out this guy right here. Bad day to be you, guy. Anyway, so, uh, what did we get? Does it say anywhere... I don't see the message for the supply, so that's fun. Anyway, I, by the way, I love the megalithic fortresses that they have. It, this reminds me so much of, like, Warhammer. I, man, I'm telling you right now, this shit is badass. Um, so I got about 2,000 meters away. We got the troll. Should be... Yeah, 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 yeah. So we got the fortress in the center. I don't know what that logo in the top middle is. I'll try to find that out eventually. Our dude's on the complete other side of the map. Whoa, what do we got going on? Harasser. Oh. You're done. Damn, those things are actually uh, a little bit more tough. I don't know. Compared to, like, okay, let's see. Two AC-10 bursts and they're still alive? I feel like that is uh, a little bit more tough than vanilla. I wonder if uh, this mod changes the damage that much. I didn't see it anywhere um, on the mod page. Also, don't you love... I have the, the cockpit glass mod and fucking perfect. <laughs> we got the, the goddamn glass right where my cursor is. Right where the reticle is. Is is just... Yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot. I, I really appreciate that. So, I just have a bigger cursor now. That's awesome. Or a bigger reticle. Oh, man. Okay, well, at this point, i just kick the glass out myself if I could, but we can't. Okay. Oh! Nice. So we got headlights on now. That's pretty badass. Did I see... Hold on. Is he thermal vision? Yo! This is, like, way better thermal vision than I thought it would be. This is, like, actually kind of realistic. There's, like, a little bit of static around some of the edges. I see some of the cockpits like kind of bugging out a little bit, but that's fine. This is badass. Yeah, I see the cockpits kind of like bugging out a little bit, but I, it's kind of cool. I mean, I could roll with it because maybe, you know, it's like, I don't know, the past the glass needs to see thermal. We don't need to see thermal of our own mech, you know, something like that. It's kind of, kind of badass. Okay, take out some of these scorpions. I'm looking for this high value target. I got to kill this guy and get the hell out of here. These, they gotta have done something with the damage model on here, because these tanks are beefy. Same thing with the turrets. These are a lot more beefy than I remember. I don't know. Okay, they're all dead. You're done. Get out of here. Trash, dog water. All right, let's get out of thermal. Not really needed on that anymore. That's pretty. That's pretty badass. You got the you got the headlights too, and then night vision looks. Wow, that looks interesting but it is daytime so that's probably why let me use my broken glass cockpit let's kill this guy right here all right centurion we're gonna ooh, definitely gonna hit that right arm if we can here now i with one of my cockpit mods i got running it flips the doggone thingamajig where I can see the paper doll, and it's supposed to be flipped, but it's still left, right. So I need to take out his right side, so that's popping up on the right side of the paper doll. I'll have to check that out in another one, but I think it's the cockpit. I forget which one it is off the uh, the store, or not the store, the um, 
Nexus mods. I, I got a, got that one right off of Nexus mods, which is actually where I got Clan Invasion from as well, because for some reason it wasn't on Steam. I don't know if the guy just never uploaded it. But I did notice, if you guys are ever looking at uh, Clan Invasion, there are some mechs in there, well actually a lot, that are not in uh, yet another Mech Lab clan. Um, I don't know if those guys shared any assets or ripped them from the same slot, but I would really like to get a lot of those in the game. All right, Centurion, let's do right arm right here. Oh, yeah, that's gone. That's gone. You're done. If I could see his arm, that would be phenomenal. Oh, my arm is gone. That is not good. Where are you at? You guys need to take out that SRM carrier right there. Took out my whole damn torso. That's great. Hmm. That's going to be another... Ooh, I am jacked up right now. I got one medium laser. I am not doing good. Yeah, I'm still learning these damage models and how all this stuff works, man. We're going to see. I know repairing mechs with uh, yet another mech lab is might be a little bit harder uh, than I remember. So that's going to be real challenging. Now, this guy's somehow still not dead. We're going to switch mechs, actually. We got our little Vulcan. Get the flame. Ooh, I'm going to have to change some of these keybinds. I just ran with the, the starter Vulcan. Ooh, God! What the hell was that? I want to know what the hell that was. Jesus Christ, we got banged up. SRM 10s? Yeah, it must have been SRM 10s. Alright, he's dead. Let's get the hell out of here. And I also noticed these jump jets are a lot more effective. Oh my god. I do not want to be here anymore. Oh man. I need to just get the hell to the extraction zone now. Good God, we barely made it out of there. Jesus. All right, mission complete. Half a mil C bills will take it. I Okay, so we do actually get to get the Centurion, which I will take that. That's not bad. Much appreciated. Uh, I'll take some medium laser, small laser, and LRM. An AC2 wouldn't hurt. Okay, so we got banged up on that one, and we got a Locust. Okay. That was, that was a lot tougher than, uh, than I'm used to, and I've played some of the really hard missions in, uh, in vanilla or even some of the in-game uh, missions. Now, those in-game missions out of Coyote's Mission Pack, if you guys ever use that mod, those are tough, and they are just a slugfest, but I'm, yeah, this is rough. Now, also, okay, yet another mech lab. Really, really cool touch is they just added the very cool quality of life. Repair all button. And it just repairs everything. Now, that was a big cost because we were at 5 mil and now we're at... So that was about 1.7 mil we just spent on repairing everything. That is not coolio. Let's speed up the timeline. Do our next payment. And fast forward to all these. Now, these repairs are taking a minute. So let's look here. So we missed... So we lost two AC-10s. Now, this is me getting used to this mech lad right now and you're watching it live. So let's remove these defunct AC-10s. Get rid of these. We got two medium lasers in the center. Still got a lot to work with. If I max armor, what am I at? Almost three and a half. We can work with that. I'd rather have some more armor right now, frankly. Um, let's see here. So we got two ballistic slots there and there. We got two laser slots there and there. Could do some funny stuff with machine guns. Not against it. It kind of goes against what the rifleman is all about. But maybe we could do two AC-2s to kind of turn this into an anti-aircraft function, uh, similar to, I believe, the origins of the Blackjack mech was created to be an anti-aircraft um, mech for a while. Let me see here. Let's do one, no, two AC-5 burst fires. Because if we're going to lose our arms that often, I mean, hell, might as well put something on there we don't care that much about. Now, range, not too bad. What is the range on these puppies? We've got... No way. 
1240 meters yeah I'll, I'll take that i will take that for sure now let's put some ammo on here hu 5 ammo let's put that in the legs so if i've learned anything from mcquarrie online it is put your ammo in your damn legs put them there and we might actually have a little bit of room for i don't know electronic countermeasures can we put them in there anywhere we can put them in there hmm might put some countermeasures we got a mask in there ams melee rockets might do some you know what i'm gonna do more lasers we put a large laser no we can't but what about more medium lasers Yes, we can. I can do one more and maybe a small laser. For... Yeah, that'll work for me. Okay, we're gonna send it with that. All right, we're get we're getting used to the mech lab. We're getting used to it. Now, did any of these? Okay, the Centurion. Ah, uh, there's me back to vanilla playing this game for days on end. Oh, the engine's gone. Okay, so. Makes sense. I think we, we cored it, got rid of the engine, so now I need to get a damn engine. So we have a standard engine, and I have to get a core for it. Now, what is our max speed? I think... I'm going to go with a 215, I think. Projected mass speed, 69 kph. We'll take that. I still have a little bit of money. Should have looked at how much money I was going to have after that, but uh, okay. All right, so we're a little bit faster but we'd have 52 out of 50. So this is an LRM-5. I can get rid of that one. And we have a mace. I'm not huge on the melee stuff. That saves us a lot. So let me see here what we can do with that. We got an AC-10. I can add another medium laser to the center. I'm cooking, I'm cooking. All right, got AC-10 ammo. That's a shit ton of rounds, so I'll work with that. And then I think we can actually put some heat sinks in here to get something good going. Let's start cooking. Heat sink, and let's do a max armor while we're at it. There we go. So we got maxed armor. Okay. Centurion shield. Centurion's left arm is designed to be a shield. Interesting. Hmm. Improved targeting. So I'm, like, kind of learning, guys, how... How these damn quirks go and you can choose what these quirks are interesting so I can just choose this on my own so the TT rules AI is, is a mod that is in uh, Beardle's thing let's see here so he's a brawler I think that would probably be the best thing anyway because we've got that mace and I plan on using it okay and let me take one more look like, let's take a look at this hunchback, for for instance. It's a juggernaut. Heavily armed, armored mechs with close-range weapons designed to push in advance. Target preference assault units. AI will move aggressively towards the enemy using jump jets if possible and engage at less than 200 meters. Hmm. Battle fists? Let's change the quirk from juggernaut to... Skirmisher? What does skirmisher do? Fast, lightly armored units with long-range weapons. No, what about a striker? That's kind of cool. Slow, heavy, and assault mix. Fast, lightly armored units with close range heavy damage weapons such as SRMs. Vanilla behavior? Hmm. Yeah, we're going to do Juggernaut. Okay, that works for me. I, I see how this kind of works. And we got the anti air targeting, which I did read earlier. Uh,. Gives you like that advanced cursor to shoot in front of VTOLs and aircraft and stuff, kind of like I would assume like War Thunder. Uh, so that's kind of badass, and hopefully we can actually see that. We even got this so Orion Quirk uh, does not require mecha much attention to keep it active and ready, so the upkeep is a lot less. So I mean, I see where we're going with this mech lab, and I like it. Um, I want to see. So we got a scorched earth contract. It's really close to us, low level. Hopefully, I cannot lose a bunch of parts like I did in my last mission. Uh, so let's go to contracts real quick. We got difficulty eight, Scorched Earth. I think that's, it should be easy. Going up against independence. A local militia force on Brooklyn has taken the law into its own hands and is terrorizing the people. Law enforcement during their attempts to control the situation on the ground have discovered that independent forces are supporting their efforts with supplies. Destroy this hidden depot and we'll bring the militia to its knees. 
works for me and I'm going to go back to let's see yeah we're going to need more sea bills than anything so let's do sea bills uh, we got a lot of tonnage a lot of tonnage and it sounds like I need to move fast so let's see here Locust, Centurion. Now, this Centurion can go kind of fast. What's the speed on the Locust? 130. We might be able to pull it off with the Locust. Uh, okay, okay. Why can't we have any more light mechs in here? And a Wolfhound, we're right on the tonnage limit. So let's do that. We'll put all these guys here. We have the Vulcan, Wolfhound, Hunchback, and a Locust. Now, this Hunchback, that's going to be the that's going to be the best thing I've got to back us up if something big comes by on the Scorched Earth contract. Well, let's see. We will see, and we'll find out. Oh, I can actually use my night vision, kind of. Oh, hell no. All right, so we got to use display. we got to use the lights, which I'm not against. Got our machine guns, lasers. Hell yeah. All right, so we're here basically just to light this bitch up. That's all we got to do. I want to know why my night vision is so... Uh, crazy bad that is bad I think it's conflicting with another mod that I've got going on right now screw you let's take this guy out real quick ooh that is doing some damage right now to me I, I'm gonna play careful because I'm already almost uh, exposed on my my structure is almost exposed I am in a locust and I do literally no damage, but I can move really fast to get some recon. So I do need to see what we're working with over here. Try to take out that. Nice. Ooh, little dip right there. Here's their base. Relatively small. Keep moving fast. We'll just try to demolish this real quick. Oh, it's already demolished. Easy peasy. Let's get out of here. That was, that was uh, comically quick. That w <laughs> Wait, I just I walked in. I must have stepped on something really important, and then I'm I'm out of here. So we'll rock with that. Okay, that was quick, quick. Yeah, we're out of here. In and out. I like it. Yeah, that Centurion. Yeah, we're already gone, man. Job well done. Stand by for pickup. All that matters is that I got picked up. I. You're telling me I could have done that with just my locust. I never know with some of these contracts, man. I, I, I never know. But, okay. Hell yeah. Works for me. Not gonna lie, the vanilla soundtrack is kind of good. I kind of regret replacing that originally with uh, the Mech Warrior 2 soundtrack. I, I regret that now. Oh, we got five. Take all that salvage there. So, oh, we got some we got some injuries across the board on these guys. Uh, do we, how many battle mechs do we got? We got four battle mechs left that are good, so we can do one more mission, I think. Uh, let's see here. We're gonna do a patrol contract would be appropriate. We'll do, a, we'll do a patrol. Now, I'm pretty sure the patrol, if I'm right, should just be we're walking around. That's a patrol. All right. High-ranking military official is due to arrive in the sector today. We need someone to do a local security sweep. We're currently shorthanded and don't have a lot of time, but the mission is simple. We need you to patrol a few waypoints and lure out any local rebels that may be in the area. Once you flush them out, wipe them out, and your account will be flush with sea bills. I will take it. It's going to be morning. Reduce snowstorm. Yeah, that's too easy. Let's do... Uh, hmm. We're at three, three and a half mil. Not really in the space to just do salvage right now. So let's do... Let's do this. We rock this Centurion. Our Orion in the battle. Ooh, so we might have to do a small, small patrol. Let's see here. So we are way over tonnage right now. Okay, so we'll get the Centurion. Tell me I can't use this Orion. About 70 tons. 125. Gives us about 20 tons. We're gonna rock with this and while I'm at it I forgot to paint my damn champion or uh centurion let's see here so they got a lot of different camo patterns I think it actually might add see I got like black inferno 
Maybe it's Angels. I Avantis Angels. I've never seen that. I think that I think this might unlock a couple like Kells Hounds or Kell Hounds. That's kind of badass. They're different mech companies. Marpat Desert, Marpat Woodland, like Marine Camo. I didn't see a lot of these. Storm Surge. That's from the DLC. So that is from is called Arms, I believe. We got Wolf Dragoons in this bitch. Okay. I like it. I like it. Do a little bit of role play. Some outlaws. Now we're going to do a camo pattern that I have created for my unit. They even got Comstar in this bitch. Ah, wow. Okay, so let's use uh let's use our camo. Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Black Suns. So that is the name of my current mercenary unit. We the Black Suns. All right, so we're going to launch this mission and see how it goes. Now we're just doing a patrol. So, hopefully, hopefully we don't encounter something really bad. But it's uh, it's battle tech. What happened to my damn? To my I had a mace. What happened to my my fucking you mace? I have been contracted to patrol something. Let me do my weapon groups, asshole. I want to know what happened to my mace. I'm a little mad about that still. Whatever. Hmm, okay. feel like I have a standard issue Centurion that somehow mine with all the cool stuff is gone now. Is this LRM5 streak, AC10, two medium lasers? I'll take it. Let me see this, this Star Wars thermal vision again, man. This is badass. I think I actually, from this HUD mod, if I press M, this is the cockpit mod I have thermal, and this is the y YAML thermal. I think this one's a lot more realistic because this one you can see infinitely far. This one is a little bit closer. Now, I don't know if that's balancing or what, but that is kind of badass. Um, let me see. It also says I have, I can, on the right side, I got the UAVs, cool shots, coolant flush with the nine key. Now, that'll be useful. I need to flush coolant really quick. I'm going to have to rebind that though because reaching all the way over to nine, I feel like I'm going to. I'm going to be playing a competitive typing game if I'm doing that while I'm in the middle of uh, a battle. I can't do that. No. This additional point of interest is an optional objective, and it's like literally five feet away from the primary. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go for that. <laughs> There's no question. Occupied base. Oh, so I have to destroy the base. Okay, and there's two caches here. I will take that. All right, Orion, cover my three caches. Okay, never seen that before. Hell yeah. Locals have sent mechs to assist us in our efforts. This is going to be too easy. There's no way this is going to be hard. Come on. I got three caches. This is badass. Yeah. I always love a snow mission, too. It's awesome. What kind of mechs did they give us? Cicada. And a Phoenix Hawk. Yeah, I'll take that. Now, I'm still waiting. We actually started this campaign in uh, the clan invasion, so we'll see what happens. All right, I want him to hit that javelin. Lock on from long range for here. I'm going to let them hit those uh, reinforcements because we don't lose nothing if they die. I don't want you to destroy the base. I want you to destroy the mechs, asshole. Start shooting. We're gonna hit this guy. I think we can hit him. Let's see. Snipe. Nope. Swing and a miss. I think we're definitely gonna hit this guy. <laughs> right between the legs. Hell yeah. All right. Now we're gonna brawl. We're gonna brawl for sure. I'm a lot bigger than you. I'm gonna win that fight, but you're not that guy. Your center torso is already exposed. You're done. You're done after this right here. That's what I thought. You're done. Go ahead and check. You're out. Go ahead and log out for me. You're canceled. You're done. We got like one more mech. We got what? Is that the javelin? Yeah. I don't know what happened to the commando. I kind of lost track of him over the hill. So we'll see what happens to that guy. Oh, he's flying around. Oh. Ah. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna hit a shot one day. I'm gonna hit one of those one day. 
Okay, I'm just here to destroy the base, so I think I'm going to focus on that. Now, I will take as much salvage as possible, but I didn't really invest in that, so I think, uh, I think it's time to just destroy the base. You can run, but you cannot hide if you are in harasser. You're done. Sorry. Who is this me right now? Is this... It's not Davion. I don't know who those guys are. You know, I have not used a cicada before, and that seems like a very underappreciated mech. A lot of guys are big, big fans of it in uh, MWO. I'm going to have my guy kill that guy. You're no Ryan. You can take him. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, destroyed occupied base. We can handle that. I got plenty of rounds of the AC-10. Well, I think we're just going to have to... We're going to have to rely on the special Mech Warrior 5 uh, trait of walking on everything because it's a lot faster than shooting everything. We're going to do that. I think we're going to end this mission relatively quick. Now, it says I need to destroy the base, and I'm only at 94%, and I'm, I'm walking over as much as I can right now. I don't know what's going on with that. How much is it if I take this out? Actually, you know what? We're in a melee mech. What am I talking about? blow this up takes it down by five yeah it's not worth it right there buddy repair bay takes it down a lot more so we're just going to take these repair bays down i think and then we'll be good to go oh yeah we're now we're making a dent a lot of a lot of just walking we're gonna have to do here for a little while That's fine. Oh, Ryan's getting to have all the fun taking out the commando. And now we can come in here and attempt to help me out. Because I am having a great time walking through these office buildings. I hope they were not doing anything important in there. This might help out too. Let's see. Is this doing anything big? A whopping 1%. Hell yeah. Let's go. Let's see. We have to destroy everything from the inside. Man, this base is thick. A lot thicker than what I was ready for, at least. But now that I got my buddies helping me, we might be able to do this a lot quicker. And there's a lot of big buildings we can still walk on, so, I mean, I'll take it. This is one of the more, uh, less intensive moments of MechWarrior 5, as some of you may notice. It's just, uh... Walk around until uh, mission's done. Everything is uh, fucked up effectively at the uh, the objective. So we're just gonna we're just gonna do that. So I'm gonna probably fast forward through this part because it's just basically a bunch of walking.
Okay, so you may notice I have switched mechs finally because I'm in the Orion now. Um, I noticed this one was a little bit heavier, so it was going to be quicker at destroying this base, and that is the option that I took uh, because this was a slugfest. For this kind of mission, it would have been obviously better to have a little bit heavier of a mech, but that's the thing. The only critique I have about Mech Warrior 5, or at least one of the few, is that the mission briefs Let's do not really here, cover much of what's going to well happen. Done. Now, is that because the mission gets randomly generated uh, based on a certain criteria before, like when you start? Probably. But it would, it would be nice to uh, to have that. And maybe also some continuity on the weather in some of these planets. But yeah, the game's been out for a while. I don't think that's going to happen. We're going to roll with it. I don't know. Maybe something big will come out with uh, Rise of Razzlehag, which uh, one of you guys actually told me in the comments uh, to look that one up. And that got announced, like, right when I made the video. All right. Reputation rank three. Unfamiliar. Whatever. Uh, million C bills. I'll take that. Ah, we could have got some good stuff, too. But we're just going to have to settle for these three little weapons. All right. So light damage overall, though. That's not bad. So we got those in need. Independent people of Sky present a number of units under the employ of House Steiner, currently assigned to the front line on House Karita. In 3023, House Steiner shocked the entire industry with the creation of the first new mech design generations, the Hatchet Man. Okay, okay. So this is the Hatchet Man quest. Uh, we're going to start that one at a later time for sure, because that one is a, it's a, it's a, little, it's a little thick, a little thick quest right there. Um, so we got... Two missions in, we got two mechs still left alive. Let's take a quick trip over to this industrial hub. Let's try to repair our stuff. So far, we haven't lost a crazy amount of component components. We're just kind of on that early game grind as to just, just getting bigger and better as a mech company. Uh, so let's repair all. God, I love that button. I love that sound. That's so easy, too. That is awesome. You just press the button and it, and it, and it, does everything for you okay so i see we have a cicada right here it's seven mil and we only got four god okay okay let's see what we're working with here looking at some of the armor on uh some of these two this armor looks really not not thick boy not thick boy armor at all panther didn't look too bad i like the panther Maybe we can roll with a panther, because that maybe we could do more missions for longer. And I'm down with that. So, I think... We're going to send it and get this panther. 35 tons. Got a PPC on it. I'm going to buy it. We're going to do it. We're going to make big money moves here. Big, big money moves. We're going to repair the panther. This way, we can just keep it rolling and keep doing missions. No pauses in between. That's what I want to do, is just keep going and going and going. All right, now we're going to roll into a demolition contract. Hopefully, uh, we'll see. We'll see if this one's easy. It's so, it's so random with a lot of these damn missions. It's so random if it's, like, really, really hard or just, like, the easiest mission you've played all day. I don't know, man. I... Ah, we'll see. We'll see. Get another mech lab. We'll see. All right, so... Oh, cool. We're going to be on a Von, Von Biomes map. So this one's for House Karita against Independence... Uh, visibility is going to be poor. There's a sandstorm. It's a demolition mission. Difficulty is eight. Our reconnaissance has found a weakness and independence force. Uh, independence defenses want you to exploit this weakness. Head to the target location and pulverize everything. All right. This sounds like uh, there's going to be some salvage. So I'm going to I'm going to do that. Expunge limit. One twenty-five. Okay. One twenty-five is our salvage limit. How much armor do we have in the Centurion? Three twenty-eight. I'm going to dervish. Two forty. 320 on the hunchback. I'll take the hunchback. Hmm. I'm going to have another mech with me. We're going to do that. Go rifleman. Okay, we'll take that with 414 armor. I think on top of that, we'll take the wolfhound. And that at least gives us three. Is anybody else a 35 pound? Or pound? Ton? No. No. Oh, we got the panther, but it's going to be a while before that gets fixed. Well, I'll leave that alone. Who do we got? And I know this... A lot of lasers. So who's good with lasers? Azari. Put you in there. This guy's good with lasers. I'm good with lasers. All right, we're going to rock that. Hell yeah. All right, so simple mission, right? Demolition. Get in, blow stuff up, get out. Now, we will see if 
the RNG gods bless us with a good one. Oh, this may be a very, very long mission here. Okay, what do we got? On Bremen 3. I love that. I love being able to turn on the headlights. All systems nominal. Okay. Ooh, what are these weapon groupings? Okay. I can rock with these. This shoulder, this right shoulder is going to murder. Our right, objective is about a click and a half that way. Looks like this is the quickest route right here. God, that is a big ass mount for a lot of big ass guns. Okay. How many medium, how much heat does that generate? Let's test. Not that bad. And we got a cool shot last I checked. Yes. We got a coolant flush. Plenty of that. We're going to rock with the coolant flush for sure. Now, this many medium lasers, I better be able to just absolutely demolish these damn tanks and these harassers that have been fucking my day up. I don't like them. I don't like them at all. And uh, they're tanking AC-10 burst fires right now. And I'm trying to remember if that is a change from yet another mech lab or if that is a... That's just how it's always been. And I've just had too many good guns to, to worry about a couple tanks. Is that a skeleton? What the hell? Okay, yeah. Get fucked. You're done. Try to use some range. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is working a lot better than I thought it would. Okay, yeah. Tanks are no longer a problem. I have a shoulder-mounted fuck you cannon. I like this. Ooh, urban mech. I don't like that urban mech either. That's a bunch of SRMs. They just melee my shit. Ooh, coolant flush. Did I do a coolant flush? I did. Okay, I'm not managing this at all. Now I got an emergency shutdown on my screen. That's awesome. I think I just glitched the game hard. <laughs> Are we gonna have to change? We're gonna have to change back. Sorry, guys. Okay. You gotta love it. Now that. Oh, okay. We're gonna fix some of these keybinds real quick. Weapon groups. I right, see so AC5s. We're gonna have to change that. We're gonna have to change that hard. All right, so let's do one, two. Oh, uh, well, friendly fires off, so lucky him. He just caught that one. That's, that's going to go on the highlight reel. All right, so we got each side two AC5 burst fires. So we're going to rock with that. Fuck you. That did it be an infantryman. All right, demolishing the base should be easy. Why? It's still programmed. Hold on. This manual. That one with four. Okay, there we go. So let's just. There we go. There we go. Easy demolish. Easy. We're just gonna sit here, have some fun. Oh, uh, is that a plane? Yeah, you're dead. You're dead. <laughs> okay. Get some of these walls. Get a couple buildings. Hope nobody's in there, or not, whatever. For mercenaries, I don't have feelings, I guess. What is shooting me? So now I think all we got left is really just these walls, so we're just gonna walk into a couple walls. Launch this the best we can. Oh, hi. Oh, ooh. Wolfhound got him hard. All right, let's run through here. It's really just gonna be these walls we gotta take out, and I think that's pretty much it. There we go. All right, let's get the hell out of here. You know what? I should have been in this rifleman from the get-go anyway. Um, the two AC-5 burst fires could do some job. Ooh, no, I got a lot of salvage. I'm going to try to take this panther on. Let's go for the legs. I got plenty of ammo to lose, too, buddy. Go for the legs. Oh, his leg's gone. Let's get it. There you go. Good job, buddy. That's going to be a salvage for sure. If I don't see that panther in the end of this, I'm going to be, I'm going to be mad. Even though I did just buy a panther, I, hey, two panthers is, is better than none. 
better than one. God, these turrets got a buff. Got some thick boy turrets going on. And thick boy fucking uh, J. Edgars. My God, die. I mean, I, I like it though, because vanilla, man. Vanilla, I was killing it. Those things were not armored at all in vanilla. So now it's good to see that, like, they can actually take a few rounds. It's good stuff. Is it super balanced with me versus them? We will see. Because if we get a massive wave of those J. Edgars or harassers or a demolisher, um, that's a problem. And we're going to have to learn how to deal with that. And I don't. I don't have the means to do that just yet. I mean, still pretty fresh. Starting a mech company in 3048, probably not the easiest thing to do. A lot of, a lot of clanners running around. Not a big fan of that. Okay. Urban mech panther. Ah, uh, let's see. Hmm. We're gonna rock with the panther, and then we're gonna take some medium lasers. And then I'll take a LRM-10. Finish it off in the SRM-2. Decent loot. Not bad. Not even bad damages either. Me like you. Me like you a lot. Right, let's go to Battle Mix. Uh, it's going to take a lot to repair these. So we have this Panther here as well. We have ours that we... Let's, let me check out this Panther that we, we got earlier. Now there's no weapons in it. That's a problem. Let me finish them, this one off with just traveling back real quick over here. I'm going to try to see if I can learn anything about the mech lab and see what happens okay so well we got some hero mechs on the market now got a lot of mechs on this market my god okay we got a shadow hawk we got javelins we got griffins seven mil hero variants assassins blackjacks a lot of guys like the assassin i actually if you guys have any likeness a likeness preference for the assassin let me know why in the comments i'm still trying to figure out why everybody likes this one same thing for the blackjack i don't know blackjack's got an iconic look but other than that i have no idea anyway we have no money i'm not buying any of these <laughs> let me see here we are gonna prepare just the panther and then we're gonna put some weapons on this panther and it's got improved targeting uh we're gonna turn this one into a sniper there we go uh, improved targeting, nimble jumper, more effective with jump jets. I don't care about jump jets. What about striker? Ah, uh, so all these are the same. So we'll do we'll do sniper on this one. We'll call it easy. So we do have a PPC, and I'll take that. We're 35 out of 35 with a PPC. That sucks. What is our speed? 64 sucks. But we have one SRM. What we got? Just a SRM four and a PPC. That is no bueno. I thought this was a lot better of a mech. Now let's actually just take away the jump jets. Freeze up a decent amount of space. Um, let's see here. We can also put another laser in the right arm. We can actually put four in the right arm. Not bad. Let's see if we can do, can we do, we'll do a medium laser, bring it up to 34, and then maybe, yeah, nothing really crazy we can really work with right now. I'll just put a single heat sink in center torso. Call it a day. We'll look at this Panther. Forward that timeline one more time. And I think we'll probably have to do the same thing. Yep, PPC, SRM4, SRM ammo. Yeah, we'll take away the jump jets. We'll need to jump. Not a big deal. Put a medium laser. That side right there, and then we will put a freaking heat sink. Now, where are the damn heat sinks? Ah, probably the heat logo. Probably should look there. Anyway, looks like armor's decent. I'll take it. And we will finish it off with giving him the crisp Black Sun's paint job. Hell yeah. Now, we do have to differentiate, so I think we'll do one with that and then we'll do one with black that'll be our alternate paint job that'll be our away team paint job i think that works for me we'll do the default one here and we will call it a day so we got dummy one and dummy two perfecto okay 
So let me also make him a sniper while we're at it. Perfect. Hell freaking yeah. Go ahead and save here. Sprint over here, get a good little view. Okay, and uh, that being said, that is, I guess, episode one of a Let's Play with yet another Mech Lab mod in MechWarrior 5. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. I actually listened to a lot of the comments in the last video and used a couple of the mods you guys suggested. And uh, yeah, I'm going to play the DLCs. I'm actually a little late for the Kestrel Lancers DLC, but off of YouTube, off of recording, I did play it. And I know one of you guys recommended I play the Kestrel Lancers DLC. It was phenomenal. Now, the reason why we're not able to do it in this is we're here in 3048, right? I wanted to play with the clan invasion specifically because I'm trying to get some timber wolves, I'm trying to get some summoners, I'm trying to get some, uh, well, eventually the savage wolf is in there. I've never even seen the savage wolf aside from like the picture on there. And I kind of just want to be surprised and see if it's got some pretty cool badass stuff in there. But anyway, uh, if you like the video, feel free to right swipe, super like, favorite, repost, whatever. All that good stuff. Share it to all your friends. Tell them I'm, uh, tell them I'm a good dude. Anyway, I'll uh, catch you guys around. And I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.